Do you remember the scene in The Mummy Returns when the Scorpion King shows up and he goes, Do you smell what the... Oh God, earthquake! Earthquake! Earthquake, get down! Get down! Oh God, it's happening! It's happening! So let's talk about San Andreas. San Andreas is a new disaster film starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Do you guys see the, the people's eyebrow? Do you see it? Yeah? It doesn't matter if you see it! This movie also stars Carla Gugino, and a girl that I have no idea who she is, but she's very, very cute. Also starring is Paul Giamatti, who plays the smart scientist, because every disaster movie needs a smart scientist. It's a very simple story to follow, actually. A giant earthquake, the largest earthquake ever recorded in the history of mankind, strikes California, and in the middle is The Rock and his torn apart family. The Rock has just one mission in this entire movie, is to get to his baby girl. So him and his divorced wife team up to go after and find the daughter. In the meantime, they get into some crazy, chaotic situations. So basically, San Andreas is this giant special effects extravaganza with some really good special effects and some also some kind of cheesy special effects like the very beginning of the movie. Uh, it shows a car just literally just going da, 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 da. And I was like, okay, that looks pretty bad. I really hope the rest of the movie is not like this. And the rest of the movie is actually kind of like, uh, uh, some of the special effects were pretty terrible. Some were actually really good when they're going against up the, the giant freaking uh, wave. It's like, oh damn, the special effects and CGI look really, really good. It looks very believable. But when they, you know, go through it, I was like, you guys should be pretty fucking dead. Like, and that's the whole thing about this movie. It's like, there's a lot of unbelievable stuff there. It's literally a movie where you just turn off your brain, stuff your face with popcorn, and enjoy the shit out of this movie. Because it is a thrill ride. Like every disaster movie, it has great special effects, great CGI, great explosions, great action, but it has terrible writing. Paul Giamatti, an award-winning actor, a really good actor, personal favorite of mine actually, is in this movie, and he was just given some pretty terrible dialogue. So who do we call? He's like, everyone. And I was like, okay, come on. And I, this, I've been saying this all morning long because I saw the movie last night. I was like, you know what? I see a lot of Schwarzenegger in The Rock, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. There were some moments where I was like, dude, The Rock is just doing the whole Arnold thing right now with the cheesy one-liners. And seriously, all The Rock needs to do is just walk away from the explosion in slow motion and just say, like, come with me if you want to live. Why isn't The Rock in a Terminator movie? What the hell? I just thought about that. Uh, seriously, I really feel like this movie should have came out like back in the 90s. Could you imagine if San Andreas came out with Independence Day, Armageddon, Deep Impact, freaking Twister? This movie would have been perfect if it came out in the 90s. I do gotta say that San Andreas is better than Day After Tomorrow and 2012. Uh, San Andreas is definitely worth it. Go check it out with your friends. Have fun. But like I said, just don't expect it to be like... Oh man, there was this one douchebag that I saw, like, he was sitting next to me, he's like, oh come on, this is really unbelievable, nothing like that. He's like, dude, this is a reason why we go to the movies, to escape from reality a little bit, and it's exactly what this movie is. Enjoy The Rock's biceps, because the guy's freaking huge, I, like, yeah. <laughs> I can't picture anybody else in this movie but The Rock, because The Rock just made this movie just even more effective. Don't get me wrong, this movie did have its moments. It had its oohs and it had its ahs, but there was a lot of cliche in it. Like every disaster movie in the past, we're just waiting for the big event to happen. And then you have your slow, boring parts, and that's a good opportunity for the writers to develop the characters. You do end up caring about The Rock. Is he going to find his daughter? Is he not? Or what's going on with that? When it comes to rating this movie, of course, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five skulls. The reason being because it's just a fun movie. That's all it is. There's nothing more, nothing less. It's, it's just a movie where you walk in eat popcorn, enjoy the special effects, don't worry about the cliches, don't worry about some of the dialogue, just enjoy the movie, it's just that type of movie, it's a thrill ride, it's a summer blockbuster, have fun, enjoy it. So what did you think of San Andreas? Let's talk about this movie. What is your favorite disaster movie? Mine is Armageddon. Sound off in the comments below, let me know what you think of the movie. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching this video. Until then, stay focused, stay sharp, and axial on. But tonight, in your match against Mark Henry, with that aside, you are fighting for your professional existence. Well, you're going to be fighting to get the rocks put out of your ass with your stupidity. Well, shut up. Shut your mouth, Jabroni. The fact of the matter is this. Yeah, sure, that Jabroni piece of trash, Rudy Pooh, Vince McMahon holds all the damn people's cards.